Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading. So, um, I'm seeing a lot of like, um, I, I see a lot of imagery about you walking through a dark tunnel, and then at the end of the tunnel, there's this like a uh, glaring bright light and coming into that light and then looking up at the sky and everything is really blue and it's a clear day okay um whenever i see that it's sort of like this tunnel of transformation um walking through a situation where you have a lot more clarity and a lot more breadth of vision as well as purpose as to what you're trying to do, where you're trying to go, where you're headed. And I feel like things are made very, very clear to you guys, okay? Which is a, a really good energy. And I feel like um, this is indicative of a change in your own mindset that's allowing this situation new beginnings as well as a newfound sense of insight and awareness to take place okay so i feel like it's a uh, a lot of it is internal like everything is uh internal it's not like uh, opportunities are coming in it's not like you're um it, it's like the changes are self induced okay so it comes from within and it's all started because of a new mindset a new sense of clarity and so I feel like a lot of it is self-directed. You're taking charge in your life. And I got a, a very similar um, energy when I was doing the um, cancer reading where it says they're back in the driver's seat. I feel like that's what's happening for you guys. The water signs are really, you know, taking charge, behaving more like a fire sign and really, you know, steering their life in the direction that they want. Okay. So the first image that I saw for you while meditating on this month's reading was uh, that tunnel. Um, I see this little boy and a little dog and he's walking through this tunnel and at the end of it is this bright light. He's just like, oh, the tunnel looks a little bit damp, but he sees the light at the end of it. So he's all like, it's okay, I, I can, you know, uh, make my way across. So as he's walking through, he's looking at the moss, the mold and like kind of like the dank, stale air underneath trapped in the tunnel it's a little bit humid but then coming out of it there's this wind sweeping by bright lights clear sky um like really really bright day so i feel like there's a sense of optimism a sense of direction a sense of things opening up for you and it comes about as a result of taking risks taking charge overcoming your fears not being afraid of this dark tunnel and being able to move on from that okay Wow, you've got really powerful cards here. Um, two people wedged between two major arcana cards. So that's really good, very positive. The second vision that I saw was, uh, I see this man. He's, um, he's very tall and he's wearing a t-shirt, jeans, and he has like um, a, a luggage that's, that he's rolling. And on the other side, he's, he has like a duffel bag. So the luggage and the duffel, duffel bag are both on the ground. You're seeing the back of him. He is outside of what looks like an airport terminal waiting for his taxi to take him to his next destination or wherever he, it is he's going. So he's got all his belongings and then the taxi pulls up, a yellow, yellow black cab pulls up and he hops in uh, with his stuff and the driver is all like, where do you want to go? Where's your destination? And he goes, surprise me. Okay, and then the, the you see the cab kind of takes off and there's this winding road heading towards the sunset on the other side. And so I feel like it's a big metaphor, you know, it's like the, the voyage, the, the, the passage, the journey of life, okay? And uh, I feel like the words surprise me. Um, it, it, it resonated, like it echoed throughout that image. And I feel like what it's saying is you're a lot more open-minded, okay? No longer is the Scorpio wanting to obsessively control everything, obsessively plan everything. You guys are big planners. But a lot of the times you might have realized that you plan for something and then things kind of veer off in a different direction. And a lot of the times in the process of veering off, you know, offshoots and, and, and things go off on a tangent, 
you realize that they're actually a lot better than what you have initially planned okay you might plan a detour and you might be dealing with uh, somebody who's a little bit more unpredictable and so you have your 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 things your way your plan set in a straight motion and then in the process of dealing with others around you who are a little bit more fickle your plans kind of veer off on a tangent and then along the way in the process of getting to that going off on that offshoot that tangent you realize that things are a lot better I'm seeing new things I'm seeing things that I wouldn't see so in this journey of life I feel like there are a lot more experience experiences new experiences new opportunities dotted along the road that you hadn't anticipate for but you're so straight laced and you were so meticulous about planning that you only saw one way and I feel like the, the universe has to bring about these people into your life so that you can allow yourself to just kind of like relax and just kind of like say, you know, I welcome whatever opportunities the universe wants to bring in for me or, you know, surprise me. What else have you got? Surprise me. And um, also, I'm seeing, you know, you're definitely a lot more open to new things, new ways of doing, new ways of thinking, new experiences. And as a result, you're being delivered these things. OK, wow, you've got some really yeah, powerful cards here. And so I feel like the theme for this reading is sort of like death and transformation death of the old ways of doing the self-limiting talks the ways in which you have really held yourself back in the past or the ways in which you have really stuck to a specific agenda and and you you were so strict on yourself and so stringent with yourself that that was all that you saw it's sort of like that tunnel vision okay that was all that you saw and as a result of opening yourself up to more to kind of like not control things and try to let things flow naturally when we kind of like relinquish control that's when things get smoother that's when the universe works behind the scenes but it requires us to have trust and faith and many of you guys are incredibly spiritual you believe you guys are so humble you believe that there is a greater power out there controlling this universe i don't know what it is i, I might not even believe in that there is a god but there is something a divine force everything has a life force and if i relinquish control i know things will kind of like fall into place for me and so i don't have to obsessively plan and so it alleviates a lot of stress from your end and it just overall you know allow things to happen for you effortlessly without you having to make any major changes in your own life so it's it's all about a paradigm shift a change in the ways you think and a change in the ways that you accept things to come in and allow things to come in that's what's really that 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 tunnel is about okay stepping into the unknown it's a little bit stale there's still air there's mildew there's moss growing underneath um you know in that tunnel and you don't know if you reach your hands out you know what you're going to touch but the point is keep yourself focused walk straight ahead towards that light at the end of the tunnel and all will be fine okay so scorpios um one two three four so you've got four major arcana cards and um the major arcana cards are basically indicative of things that are outside of our control all of the cards look really 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 good they're very powerful cards so i want to talk about them in conjunction with one another i guess this one goes here okay so first of all we have the strength card and the strength card is um this is a, a a sense of like peace and tranquility is what i'm feeling with this card okay being in a state of a situation where you attract more people with honey okay smooth talking as well as smoothing somebody's ruffled feathers being kind of like the voice of reason or the voice of rationality in a situation um smoothing out ironing out the wrinkles um smoothing out the rough edges okay so i feel for many of you you're in an environment where the people around you are a little bit either 
unrefined or very brash very impulsive very fun to be with you know they're they're like uh, they have no filter whatsoever whatever comes to their mind they it comes out of their mouth so mind and mouth okay so like whatever they think up they, they just say it and so I feel like there's a situation where you're refining something you're refining your work you're refining a group of people you're refining the ways in which they communicate the ways in which they act the ways in which they behave you're teaching them or showing them how to do things a more graceful way so i feel like you're in an, an environment where many of you might play caretakers to other people might play mentors might play tutors might play teacher or even you know showing people how to do things so you're dealing with a group of people or a person that is a little bit rough around the edges you have to kind of like they they, they get um frazzled they get stressed out they get frazzled they get um uh you know it's sort of like this lion if, if you see this lion okay this is somebody who's like hot-headed right so it's somebody who's very very hot-headed they want things a specific way or they want things a certain way and you're just like they're there everything will be okay try to relinquish control and i also feel like this is a little bit of a an ego stroking that you're going to be getting for this month i feel like somebody is really you know stroking your ego telling you hey you did this really well i really like what you did right there i really like the way you resolved this i really like the way that you handle this situation and you're doing it with a really really strong sense of grace um i feel like that woman might be you and you might be male watching this it doesn't really matter the cards are not gender specific but this is somebody who's very fearless and scorpio people you guys are really you're emotionally i feel like you guys are the the strongest signs that i have met when it comes to emotional strength and resilience okay you hand like it, it's almost like you can walk through hell and back and it doesn't affect you you feel it but like i i feel like a lot of scorpio people experience many 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 dark things from a very young age and so it's it's almost it's almost like life trained you to experience these things at a very young age and because of that you grow up very very resilient things don't break you you don't buckle under pressure um you can handle things that might make other signs very that that might make other signs give up and I feel like you handle responsibilities, you know, uh, worth like 10 people. So it's like you're, you're handling responsibilities for like 10 people and you would be okay. Whereas other people around you uh, might buckle under pressure. So I feel like because of that, this is a card about grace. And this is a card about doing things in a very soft manner attracting people with honey complimenting people and you guys don't compliment unless somebody deserves it but you're in a situation where your softness your grace goes a long way okay so i feel like because you have exhibited these qualities i feel like you're getting some really positive um payback from the universe okay we also have here the emperor and the emperor this this card indicates somebody who is at the peak of their power okay this is someone who's very very decisive uh, people defer to you for your judgment for your guidance for your expertise and your skills in how to do things and you know this is a person uh, it came out I, I don't read this deck in the upright position but the way that it came out right next to your card queen of cups right here right next to this um energy people see you kind of like this you know the the queen of cups she's very um she's very there's a childlike innocence about you when people first see you especially for female scorpios you guys have like this daintiness you know um but i feel like underneath like I said, that resilience, you're all steel. And people don't see the steely, strong, resilient side until you're put under pressure and you know exactly what to do. When you're put into, under pressure or when you're put in a tough situation, that's when the Scorpio shines their brightest because they know intuitively 
what to do, who to call, what to grab, how to resolve things. And so you guys are great at crisis management and you guys are a force to be reckoned with. So, you know, on the one hand, people might underestimate you. Oh, you know, the dainty water sign, especially this Queen of Cups, she's very loving, very nurturing, very caring, a little bit on the naive end and uh, not super assertive where she ruffles people's feathers or step on people's toes okay you guys are not like the Sagittarius where they kind of bump into things or they might say things out loud that that might not be socially acceptable you guys are very very much the observer of the zodiac but behind this daintiness and this really um, soft cute energy there's this you know dynamism this dynamite core that people don't really get to see but once they see it they're going to be in sheer admiration of you because this indicates somebody who's like their head is properly planted on their shoulders they don't lose their their focus they don't lose their uh, sense of composure when things get rough they know how to handle things they know how to tackle things they know how to take care of things and if need be they know how to fight dirty okay so i feel like you might have been underestimated in the past and coming into the energy for this month we are still we still have like a, a few days left of aries and as a result of it i feel like that's where you're letting more of that spunky uh, forced to be reckoned with side come out okay not in a bad reckless way but in a way where it's like you know this is where i stand and you don't really you shouldn't really cross me okay we also have the world and this is a card about travel movement planning things um i still see this you know encased in a bubble so it's like something is beginning something is trying to start not yet okay is what i'm getting so this is sort of like the the yes but not right now yes but in just a little bit okay so i feel like um it's right next to the page of wands so I feel like the the next fire sign time frame, so that might be in the August time frame, and when we are transitioning into the time of Leo, so that could even be late July, early August, so like July 21st, August 21st, that time frame, where something is going to start to roll in for you, where you're going to be very, very emotionally fulfilled, okay? I feel for some of you, this is good news when it comes to housing. When it comes to like if you put your house on the market and you're trying to sell it um that's what's coming in with this uh page of wands here good news messages coming through if this is in relations to like new projects um getting off the ground getting funded or even completing that's what this card denotes it also indicates as well messages communication being able to meet another person getting you know some some spark of new love for those who are single they're saying there's a little bit of a lull and a little bit of a wait time for of swords. This is like things aren't really happening yet. In about four months time, possibly in that August time frame, things are going to get rolling. You're going to get your second win. You're going to get the windfall coming back in, coming back home. Okay. So something is getting off the ground and it's a major transformation in your life for some of you. Um, I feel like you're trying to, you know, uh, consolidate consolidate your knowledge, consolidate your skills, okay? So you might not have been uh, a, a very, I wanna say, um, completely social. Um, you might not have had a lot of time to yourself to do a lot of leisure activity. I feel like you have been very, very busy. It's like, I'm seeing somebody with a, like a stack of files or portfolios or paperwork on their desk and they're just going through the motions to process the paperwork. So I feel like you're just going through the motion doing something, but it's not really, you're not completely 100% like, excited about it. Um, once it's done, possibly by the um, April timeframe, that's when new projects will be rolling in. That is a little bit more your cup of tea, a little bit more up your alley where you can kind of showcase your talent, okay? So I feel like this is yes, but not right now. Mainly because what I have here is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is like, you know, crying over spilled milk. There was a situation where some of you felt like you might have done something wrong. 
and then you might have gotten feedback, you know, very, very gentle, delicate feedback telling you, hey, um, you know, it would be better next time if you did this. And uh, it would be better next time if you took this approach instead of that approach. It would be better next time if you like, um, you know, um, be a little bit more delicate with your communication. Or it might be better if next time you did something different or, or you took a different approach. So I feel like somebody might have done that. So I, I see this card more like return back to the drawing board to fix something. So you might have had to fix other people's uh, ways of doing. You might have to fix other things that people have made mistakes on. Or you might have to redo something that you're doing. And then a superior sees that you are actively trying to learn. And... Um, Keep in mind, okay, Earth, I'm sorry, fixed signs, uh, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus, okay? The, the thing about fixed signs is that we identify very, very strongly with the things that we believe in, okay? And so a lot of the times, um, the, we have really strong likes and dislikes. Um, the spectrum is very, very heavy when it comes to, you know, either side. There's ever rarely a time where someone mentions something and you're like, oh, I'm okay, you know, I'm, I'm on the fence. I can do it or I cannot. We have really, really strong likes and dislikes. We actually love something or we are like ambivalent about it, okay? We actually love somebody or we kind of like don't care. So they're kind of like on the periphery. When you don't care, you don't care. You don't think about them. You don't talk to them. You don't wonder if they're okay. So that's the way fixed signs work. And then on top of that, you, you identify very strongly with the things that you believe in, your ideological beliefs, the ways in which you do things. Because everything has to be in alignment, right? It's really hard being a fixed sign. And people don't understand that. Our heart, our bodies, and our minds have to be in accordance with one another. With All those things have to be lined up in order to, for us to do something. When we do something and our heart is not 100% in it, we procrastinate we um, drift off into dreamland, we daydream, we just try to distract ourselves with everything else rather than doing that one thing. And when you are conflicted, that's when I feel like, you know, your heart's just not in it. You, you just do it, you just go through the motions. And so what I'm feeling is, a lot of the times when you do something, you identify really strongly with your beliefs and so when people tell you hey you know next time maybe you should do it differently um, they're giving you constructive feedback and in the past many of you might have you know taken offense to that okay because it's, it's sort of like not only are they telling you to do something differently they it seems like they're critiquing your intelligence or they're chipping away at your self-esteem or chipping away at your belief system and um, you're coming into this new sense, you know, walking through that tunnel of transformation and re-emerging on the other end, on the other side, as a new you, where you're just like, wow, they're giving me really good feedback. I'm implementing their feedback and then I'm seeing better results. So somebody is really seeing that you're really trying. Not only are you trying, you're implementing everything that they tell you to do. And so higher ups are really, really uh, looking at you like this is somebody I want as my right hand man or right hand woman. Higher ups are looking at you like this is somebody that's really willing to learn, is humble, is willing to take constructive criticism, is really like, you know, I tell them once they change, make those necessary changes and I never have to tell them again. And so they're looking at you in case in this bubble, like, I want to protect this person's career. I want this person to go far in life. I want to do whatever I can to really nurture and cherish this person. So do you see the difference now? When we operate from that space where it's like, I'm open and I want to learn. So whatever you throw at me, I will accept it because... I'm at a point where I know that I don't know everything. You might be in a new environment where you're still testing the waters and you have respect, really, really strong respect. People have to earn a Scorpio's respect. You know, just because somebody's your supervisor and they're an idiot, it doesn't mean that you will take their advice to heart 
or you will, you know, suck up to them. Scorpios don't do that. Um, they have to earn your respect. So I feel like you're in this environment where you're dealing with really powerful players. They know what they're doing. Their heads are on straight. They are really, really smart, intelligent, uh, strategic. Okay, articulate too. You you like a certain amount of articulateness in the people that you interact with. Um, and so you look at the people around you and you're just like, wow, this is a new caliber of people. These are like high quality people. Uh, they, you know, straight lace. And so I feel like you're, you might be thrust in a new environment where, um, people are who they say they are. Like they don't mince words. They're very straight shooters. They, um, say what they mean, mean what they say. There's no devi deviousness or conniving energies around these people. And so you feel safe, you feel good, and, and they have earned your respect because you interact with them. And you're realizing that, wow, these are like high cal caliber people and they deserve my respect, they've earned it. And so when they're giving you the feedback, that's when you're like, this person knows what they're doing. They have shown me that they're respectable and they have shown me that they're not self-serving, that they're really caring for my development and so I'm going to take what they have, uh, they say to heart, and I'm going to implement these things and try to change. And so walking out of that dark, dank tunnel where you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm headed. I, I, I don't want to reach out and touch something gross. Um, that's what it feels like. Okay. Coming out of this state of like, supposedly feeling like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's other people around me. You're no longer in this environment. You have made it through a major transformation all this riffraff people that you know make promises they can't keep people who are full of bs you're very intolerant of it scorpios and i i get it um people who are just like wallowing in self-pity and then stepping away from that two of cups finding a community of people who are like-minded finding people that you get along with, finding people who are on your ideological wavelength, okay? That's really important um, in this day and age, especially, you know, once we get past like our 30s, the 30 year, um, um, like 30, 28, 29, 30, 31, it's a, a major transformative time frame where we have our Saturn return. And once we have our Saturn return, we're no longer a child. We, we think and behave and um, do things like an adult, okay? So that means I don't have time for fake people anymore. That's essentially what it means. I don't have time for fake people. I don't have time for flakiness. I don't have time to um, entertain, you know, relationships and friendships um, that don't really add to my growth. So I feel like many of you are... Uh, have come out of this stage so you might be in your you know um, like mid late 30s or even beyond watching this and you're just like I don't have time for that anymore okay my time is limited and I'm in this environment with a lot of new people coming out of that tunnel can feel really really liberating okay you're in an environment where you feel safe you don't have to question other people's motives. They say what they say, uh, what they mean, and you know they walk on the straight and narrow. And you don't really have to second guess. You don't have to um, uh, distrust their motives. Okay, they don't have ulterior motives. They're on the same energetic wavelength as you. Ideologically, they're in alignment with you. And so, actually, there's another major arcana card. So the hangman, I feel like there's something here breaking open for you, but I feel like they're saying April brings about the beginning, but then the August time frame is what's really going to transform and, and allow the situation to break open, okay? And then we also have the hermit, and the hermit card is sort of like, do you focus on you. You continue on this path because I feel like many of you are in a really good position right now. You're definitely being divinely guided. For many of you, I feel like there might be some um, spiritual, really strong spiritual energy around you, like a, a, a loved one that has passed on. And they're trying to speak to you in your dream state, in your sleep state. When you allow yourself to get, you know, proper sleep, a good night's sleep, to be able to hit your REM cycle, for example, that's when your guides 
and the people that have passed on that really cared about you when they were alive they're trying to transmit messages to you and they're trying to tell you you know um to to just hang in there and and to tell you that that i feel like the month of august something amazing and transformative is really going to happen for you okay so you have some really beautiful things coming into the picture and i feel like this is a big card about tranquility as well being okay being on your own not needing uh, a partner to bounce ideas off of um, being able to spend time just by yourself you know needing alone time even spending time by yourself um, I definitely feel many of you have uh, a lot of demands placed on you by people around you constantly like um, try as much as you can to limit the noise in your environment if you're driving um, you know shut off the radio shut off the news or you know just just enjoy the scenery uh, just sit with yourself okay and I feel like it when you're too amped up it might be also hard for you to get enough sleep okay so I feel like you're you're trying to um, you're, you're getting some type of divine messages and spiritual advice that's coming into the picture but the universe is asking you to kind of like be alone, drown out the noise so that the, the messages can really sink in, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, what I have here in terms of love relationships and things like that, for many of you, there might have been a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo um, in your past that might have uh, some regrets in the way that they interacted with you or you might have some regrets in the ways in which you've interacted with them whoever is dealing with the regrets is trying to reach out to the other person but the other person is like blocking their heart protecting themselves and just like ah, I'm, I'm done I don't have time for for the, the fakeness I don't have time for people who are still indecisive about what they're trying to do with their lives or trying to do about their relationships I don't really have time so I feel like somebody is trying to reach out here we have the page of wands messages um, communication and you don't really have time you're preserving your heart this in case bunny okay there's that little heart right there you're preserving it you're guarding it and you have somebody in mind that you want to uh, give it to is what I'm sensing and you're preserving your time and your energy and your resources reaching out communicating heavily with another person that makes you feel really 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 good okay so this is a card about like emotional satisfaction here uh, looking at somebody from afar observing somebody watching somebody grow watching a situation grow and just giving it a lot of love and nourishment for some of you um, you have as well an air sign an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and then we have as well a new fire sign possibly Sagittarius Aries or Leo coming into the picture okay so for those who are single really really amazing time to kind of um, meet new people and I would say take it slow because I, it seems to me like you just got out of a relationship and you should kind of play the field a little bit and just you know really enjoy your time and and, and slow down when it comes to um, Scorpios, when you go dating, you guys um, draw out a lot of the sexual energies in other people. I don't, I don't know if you're aware of that. Okay, so like you bring it out. So, so the the Scorpio energy rules the eighth house. Okay, and the eighth house is a, a it's a called a psychic house. And uh, in the mundane way, it deals with like joint finances, other people's money, investment, but in more of the dating, love, you know, um, intimacy realm, it deals with repressed emotions. It can also deal with sexuality. And so what you're not aware of, and, and this is something that might be helpful for many of you who are single and, you know, getting out there to date, um, you are basically drawing out that side of people you activate that eighth house in a lot of people so if you're dealing with somebody who has like um you know who is very sexually repressed you activate that in them so they look at you and they're like immediately very very like passionate about you and if they're very emotionally repressed they might have other underlying issues that you need to be aware of so just because they're coming at you full force 
you want to be careful because take that relationship slowly does that make sense and then on the other hand the eighth house also rules that joint finances right if you're dealing with someone who's very like um if you go on out to date you might deal with people who are not very financially stable and then on the first date you're gonna start to see that they have boundary issues that they treat your money your resources like it's their own and so if you fall in love with them too early and too soon you've already given them your heart and then once these issues pop up it's too late and then you find yourself in karmic you know um, possibly toxic environments so I feel like the universe is really telling you if you are dating take it very very slowly because you're 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 activating people's insecurities and you're activating um, deeply repressed things that people try to hide about themselves and when people come into contact with a Scorpio you see it all like I, I feel like you know you're kind of like the observer right you see people's strengths and their weaknesses but I also feel like when we like somebody we overlook a lot of things and especially if it's a new relationship where we're activating uh, where we're operating more from the base chakra the desire the 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 need to want to get intimate really fast really soon you want to be careful okay so you have really good high quality people that are in the picture right now so i feel like if you want to date you definitely are in a really good position right now to put yourself out there and date but i'm also saying if you're for example online dating where you're just hit left and right with a lot of people you need to be careful and you need to slow it down because people are just you know really gravitating towards your energy you're in the front and center of this spread and that's why i feel like all the energy is converging okay so you might be seen as the light at the end of the tunnel for somebody somebody who might have you know gotten out of a relationship really dark relationship and they're newly single or they might not want to be single and they're not entirely ready yet to move on and then they see you and they beeline it for you because they see you as that light at the end of their tunnel when they're not emotionally ready so you want to be able to energetically block out or screen out these people by taking the relationship very very slowly until you really get to know a person if you see those red flags those indicators that I mentioned earlier just be careful okay I will leave it at that and uh, I wish you all the best okay take care of yourself and um, I'll be back in in a few weeks okay take care oh and I also want to mention for those of you who are interested in a reading I do have a link in the description box below for a psychic based out, out of California her name is uh, Bridget she's really amazing I highly recommend a, a reading with her okay so if you're interested in that um, please Click on the link in the description box below. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon.